the Arctic sea ice is melting faster than expected. Arctic Ocean Sea Ice One of the most visible indicators for global warming may be headed or seems to be headed for another record-breaking summer decline. It's melting faster and faster. If the pattern continues New research suggests its warming effect could reach at least up to 900 miles inland, melting permafrost and releasing methane, which is many times more potent than CO2, and potentially altering weather patterns at lower latitudes even more. As of June 7th, preliminary data show that the vast expanse of ice at the top of the world is, a, is approximately 55,800 square miles smaller than it was on the same date last year. Every year it gets smaller and smaller, faster and faster. In May, sea ice extent was slightly larger than in May 2007, but the melt rate during the month, some 3,000 square miles a day, that's a lot, was faster, according to the National Snow and Ice Data Center in Boulder, Colorado. The ice's seasonal shrinkage in 2007 broke all previous records, reaching a September minimum of 2.6 million square miles, some 23% smaller than the previous record set in 2005. And if it sets another record this year, which it seems to be, or looks likely to happen, it would mark the fifth season of record declines since 1998. And from 1998 to 2012 is the period of the galactic alignment. The next few weeks should be quite instructive. And by mid-July there should be a good sense of how things are shaping up said researchers who are using satellite imagery or information on ice extent to develop forecasts of seasonal changes in Arctic Ocean ice cover. Typically, bright sea ice sends sunlight streaming back into space, keeping things relatively cool at the surface. It reflects a lot of light back into space. Leftover ice at the end of the summer forms the foundation on which ice rebuilds during the fall and winter. Over successive seasons, older, multi-year ice grows thicker and more resistant to a meltdown in subsequent summers than thin, single-year ice. Last year's record decline, however, left a very shaky foundation. Approximately 63% of the ice is younger than average, while only 2% is older than average. Anyway, the prospect of more open water in the Arctic Ocean in summer could help shipping interests, greatly reducing the selling time between Europe and Asia, for instance. Well, they could make a little more money, I suppose. But unfortunately, from a climate standpoint, standpoint, more open water during summer translates into warmer temperatures since the dark seawater absorbs sunlight much more readily, stores the heat, then just slowly releases it. 
This played a large role in last year's summer melt-off. Explains a researcher with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Cold Regions Research and Engineering Laboratory in Hanover, New Hampshire. He and other colleagues have published a study showing that ice in the Beaufort Sea, which stretches from Barrow, Alaska, east to Canada's islands in the high Arctic, underwent what he terms an extraordinary and extraordinary amount of melting from underneath due to warm water. Some of that water may have flowed into the Beaufort Sea from the Pacific or from the Atlantic, he acknowledges. But measurements point to enough solar heat to easily be responsible for this huge amount of bottom melting and still have heat left over. Anyway, these are more signs of end times, transition days. And it shows that the weather, the climate is changing very rapidly. There's a lot going on here. More than mankind really knows. Even the scientists and researchers don't even understand exactly what's going on. There's a lot going on here. Climate change, global warming, and, yes, perhaps, the pole shift. With the magnetic poles shift. The north becomes the south, the south becomes the north ever so often. But there's no scientists and researchers that exactly know how that works either. There is no exact information or research or knowledge on that one. Anyway, the Arctic sea ice is melting faster and faster every year. It's increasing rapidly. These have, they will have, this has a consequence there will be consequences on the weather. In other words, watch the weather change very rapidly. And these are more signs, and there are many.